In this screencast, we'll uh, start talking about uh, CGI in three-tier web applications. A typical web application uh, consists of uh, three logical tiers. The first tier is the client tier. Say this is the first tier. And the typical client is a web browser. Uh, the second tier is comprised of uh, various HTTP servers, for example, uh, the Python CGI HTTP server, or if we're more serious about our web development, uh, the Apache HTTP web server. And uh, the third tier, this is tier number three, uh, it's also uh, sometimes called uh, the back-end uh, tier. Uh, it consists of uh, uh, applications uh, that may include databases, uh, various uh, file management systems, image processing systems, uh, data analysis systems, uh, depending on uh, what uh, a particular web application, what, what service a particular web application is trying to provide uh, to uh, its clients. Uh, in a typical flow of um, control in a three-tier web application uh, begins when a, uh, with a client contacting uh, an HTTP server uh, with an HTTP request. So let's write it down. So uh, this is an HTTP request. If the client uses, um, if the client and uh, the server use the uh, common gateway interface uh, protocol, uh, the request contains a reference uh, to the CGI script and may input uh, to that script. And uh, the server recognizes um, okay, which CGI script is contained within the particular uh, uh, HTTP request. So let's call it this, let's say that this is our. CGI, CGI script, and runs it. Uh, the script um, may or may not uh, pre-process the input uh, from the client. Uh, for example, if it's a GET script or a uh, POST script, uh, there will be some input parameters, and, and uh, the CGI script may or may not pre-process them. It depends on what kind of input uh, it wants to uh, get out of the client. Uh, maybe it wants to verify the correctness of the input. For example, if the client is requested to uh, input a phone number, right? Then we or, or a zip code, then uh, the script may want to verify that it is really a phone number or a zip code or an email address. Regular expressions can be put to very productive use here. Um, and then, okay, so uh, once the input is obtained, uh, then um, uh, the CGI script um, probably contact one of these back-end uh, back servers, like so typical, a database or, I don't know, an image uh, processing uh, application server. Um, so um, the back-end server uh, processes the request and uh, sends uh, the result of its uh, computation uh, back to uh, the CGI script. Uh, by the way, the CGI script uh, may contact multiple backend servers, so it is typical when the CGI script may contact the database and, for example, an image processing uh, uh, backend uh, application uh, to do some interesting uh, image processing. Um, so, and then receive the output of both uh, backend uh, applications or servers. Then, uh, once the output uh, is obtained from the backend uh, server, uh, the CGI uh, will uh, generate uh, an HTML. Well, other forms are certainly possible on that CGI script that for, may, for example, generate an XML uh, or just a raw text. And, um, give it back to the client, and then the client, if it's uh, a browser, will uh, take that uh, HTML and display it. So 
that's that's a typical uh, flow of uh, control in uh, three-tier web application. 